This is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is part two of our application class tutorial. Uh, for this one here we're going to look at the isEditor method. So let's go to our onGUI function and we'll type it in here. So if application dot is editor will do something else we'll do something else. Now we're just going to change the output of the GUI label for this demonstration. So we're going to put we're going to cat to the string. So I'm going to say in editor and for this one we'll say not an editor. Now if we to, were to run this in the editor, in editor 0, and it just keeps counting. Now if we build this out, uh, we'll just pick the web player, overwrite our last save, open it up into a web player. I guess we could have made a standalone as well, but we'll just keep doing the web player. Uh, not an editor. So again, We have the in editor version, and the not in editor version. So you might be asking, you know, why would this even be useful? Uh, some of the things I've used it for is if I'm making an iPhone game, uh, the controls on the iPhone are going, to be, are going to be completely different than when I'm creating the game in the editor. So sometimes I'll have the controls for the iPhone built in, then I'll have a little separate class. Maybe my update for, you know, if I'm in, in the editor, then use the standard uh, WASD keys to move around. Uh, it's just a quick way to see what device, if you're in the editor or not. And on to the next tutorial.